This week is National EMS Week, and AMR celebrated by announcing a new program that's designed to help fill a need for first responders right here in the Valley. First re news reporter Jason Surjack was at this afternoon's announcement and has more on that story for us tonight. At the AMR offices in Youngstown this afternoon, the company announced a new program that pays prospective employees while they train. Youngstown Fire Department Chief Finley was there this afternoon. He believes that these new EMTs will fill a desperate need for the city. People getting trained as basic EMTs, the minute they get done, then they can able, they're able to go on an ambulance. And now the more people we have, the more people we can put on the street. Although the graduates will work for AMR for a minimum of two years, Finley says EMT training is a necessity for new firefighters. To get on a fire department nowadays, you have to be at the minimum an EMT. Uh, we are all fire chiefs. We would want to have paramedics, but at the minimum, you have to be EMT. Alicia Bales always wanted to be a paramedic, and the program gave her the chance to finally pursue her dream. So I am a full-time mom, um, so I couldn't really go to school and do any of that. Um, so this actually gave me a great opportunity to be able to earn while I learn. Kevin Dieter took the opportunity to become an EMT after one saved the life of a loved one. I really didn't want to be one at all until one of my uh, one of my loved ones was saved. They're like they were like dead for a few minutes technically, and you know they were brought back to life by EMTs and paramedics. AMR's program found success in other cities, and the company thinks it will stick around for a while to help more people to become EMTs and paramedics. We're super excited about it. I think we'll do good things with it here. You know, it's going to be an excellent way for us to keep our pipeline of uh, future employees full. In Youngstown, Jason Surjack, WKBN 27 First News.